Hey guys, Things Labs gave us a sneak peek at the next hunt pass called Cold Front. I'm very excited for it and I'm excited to show you guys. So let's dive right in and see what it's all about. So at level one, we have the Warden Scouts armor, which I think looks pretty good, honestly. It's definitely not my favorite armor. I think it definitely has some really nice pieces which can really work well with some other pieces of armor. All in all, it's a pretty solid armor. Next up at level four, we have the first weapon skin, the Frost Warden Sword. And I think these weapon skins are actually the best part of this hunt pass. This weapon skin looks so good. It's got a little bit of a like frost effect to it, a little bit of particle effect going on with the sword itself. And I think this makes it look so good, stand out of any other weapon skin there is currently in the game. I think they really did a really good job with these weapon skins. Next up at level five, we have the Gone Fishing Emote. Now, something really funny about this emote is that you're actually fishing out three different things. There is the apple, the potion, and the crown, finally. I don't know if it's random or not, whether or not you're fishing them out or if it's on a loop or something like that, but there are three different things that you can fish out of this little pot here that you're fishing into. Big fan of this emote. It's uh, very, very well animated, I find. Next up at level six, we actually have a new hair dye, which is gives you this really white hair. I think it actually looks pretty good. And at level nine, we have the Lantern's Transmog, the Warden's Horn. And I think this Transmog looks okay. I think this one definitely matches the armor, which is, I think, all it really needs to do. So I'm definitely okay with it. And once again, at level 15, we have another weapon skin. And once again, like I said, all these weapon skins are top tier for every single weapon. Absolutely love them. And the hammer is no different. I think it looks so, so, so good. Um, they really outdid themselves on these weapon skins. Once again, the frost effect is so good. Um, very, very excited for this weapon skin. Level 20, we have the new pike skin. And no surprise, really, really good. The frost effect is very visible on this one. Um, it really looks like a nice, good, sturdy pike. Very big fan of this weapon skin. Level 22, we have the Shiver emote. Makes it look a little bit cold. Um, nothing else much to it. Just uh, kind of shivering out here. Um, very much on brand for this entire hunt pass. Level 25, we have the new Striker weapon skin. And these are definitely my favorite Striker skins by far. They look so good. The frost effect makes it look so, so, so cool. Very big fan of this, and I'm super excited to be able to use it on live. Level 30, we have the Chainblade skins, and these are actually my least favorite of any of the weapon skins in this pass. I still think they look really, really good, and they're still one of my favorite Chainblade skins, but the fact that they're really thick kind of turns me off a little bit of the skin. I still think they look really good, but that's the only thing I would have ever changed with these is just make them make the blade a little bit skinnier, make it look like it actually would cut something. It kind of looks like it would just bonk somebody on the head and not really actually cut anything right now. Level 31, we have the feel the heat emote. Your guy bends down and makes a little fire. Hopefully you can warm up the guy that is shivering over there. Once again, I think this emote's really on brand for this hunt pass and it works really well. I'm pretty big fan of it. Level 35, we have one of my favorite weapon skins in the hunt pass. This is the Axe Frost Warden skin. And once again, the particle effects looking really good. This axe is so chunky and beefy. It really feels like it weighs a lot. It looks so good too, though. And this is definitely my new favorite axe weapon skin. Level 37, we have a new banner plant. You plant your banner and there's little icy effects coming down off of the standard. To me personally, I think this banner plant is a little bit under the flashy side of where I like my banner plants. I like my banner plants to make a real big splash when I plant it. I think this one's just a little bit under where I would want it to be. Level 40, we have the repeater transmogs. And no surprise here, these look super good. Once again, with the frost effect on them, they look like they also have a little blade on the end of them. These look so good. I think they're definitely the best looking repeater skin to me personally. Next up at level 43, we have the slip and slide emote. You guys caught himself on some ice and he's slipping around. Another goofy emote, which I'm always a big fan of. This is definitely going to my collection of emotes. Very, very excited for it. Then at level 45, we have the toboggan ride arrival emote. Once again, it's another goofy emote. I think all the emotes in this hunt pass are a little bit goofy, which I'm a big fan of. Your guy arrives on a sled and looks like he gets a little bit dizzy. I'm a big fan of this arrival emote. Then my favorite part about this hunt pass, level 50, the Warden Defender's armor. This armor is so good. This armor is exactly what I'm looking for. It gives me big Skyrim vibes. I'm a huge Skyrim fan. 
This armor is definitely making me feel like I can get some dragon chance off. I think every piece in this armor set looks really, really good. I think the armor could go with really anything you want and you could mix and match this or keep it as is and make it just look fantastic. Once again, you'll notice some pieces of the armor has a little frost effect, which once again, just works so well. It makes it look so good, bring, really brings the armor to life. I'm such a big fan of this armor. I'd like to quickly mention that at level 40 and level 50, you do get parts of the elite hunt pass level 50 armor. You get the helm and you get the chest piece. I didn't go over this at their own levels, but I just like to mention that, that you do get uh, those two pieces on the free track. Anyways, that, that is it for this hunt pass. I'm really excited for it. I hope you guys are as well. If you guys have any questions about anything that I may have skipped in this, I know I didn't cover absolutely everything on this hunt pass, but if you guys have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments. I'll definitely try to answer any questions you guys may have. Thank you guys of course for all the support you guys always give me. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next time.